By most measures, Brian Darby is a healthy guy. We eat a lot of fish, uh, we eat a lot of vegetables, we have a vegetable garden. He exercises, doesn't smoke, doesn't have high blood pressure. So at 35, a heart attack was the furthest thing from his mind, even when he started getting chest pains. It was like a, a pressure in my collarbone. I just thought it was maybe like a congestion or something in my chest. And the third day, third night, I couldn't sleep. He went to the hospital and found he was in cardiac arrest. Two of his arteries were almost completely blocked. One was 90 percent and the other one was 75 percent. We do see it in men who are young, athletic. They all feel they're invincible. Nothing is going to touch them until something terribly goes wrong. Brian thought he knew the heart attack risk factors, but he missed one, a big one. Number one, family history. That is a very high risk factor for someone to have premature heart attacks. If someone has heart attack in the family in their 40s and 50s, be aware. Brian's dad had a heart attack at 38. He chalked it up to stress and bad habits. His grandmother and her father had them too. That was a piece of family history that wasn't handed down. So it doesn't really register like, oh, well, that must be in our blood. If your family has a history of heart attack or stroke, you're twice as likely to have one yourself. That exacerbates all the other factors, including hypertension, diabetes, and smoking. All these things need to be controlled aggressively if you have strong family history. It's one of the strong indicators for someone to have uh, premature heart attacks. It's been a month and Brian has two heart stents keeping his arteries open, along with a better appreciation for his family tree. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.